4.8 day one, we're going to take a look at analyzing graphs of polynomial functions. So in this chapter, we have learned that zeros, factors, solutions, and x-intercepts are all closely related concepts. So let's just summarize, the, summarize these relationships. So when we have a function as a have this as our polynomial function, the following statements are equivalents. So we have been really looking for zeros of our function. So zero, k is a zero of the polynomial function f. So this is when we say like x equals three or x equals negative two, for example, those are the zeros. x minus k is a factor of the polynomial, so we write it in factored form. So that would be x minus three, for example, and x plus two. Then k is a solution or root of the polynomial equation. What we're really looking for is when that value equals 0, right? When does y equal 0? So you would have like when do f of 3 equals 0 or f of negative 2 equals 0. Okay, so we're just looking for when does the y equal 0. Then the last one is the x-intercept. So k is a real number, then x, then k is an x-intercept of the graph of the function, and the graph of f passes through k0. So you actually write it as an ordered pair, 3 comma 0 and negative 2 comma 0. So just knowing between, uh, like, what the teacher's asking for, what you need to write. The main ones that we're going to focus on will be the first two, zeros and factor. So when I ask you for the zero, I want to see like x equals and x equals. If I say I want it in, um, is a factor of, you would leave it in factored form. And it'll tell you whether it wants it in factored form. Um, and if it doesn't ask for, ask for factored form, then you write it in the other. So let's take a look at some ex uh, this example here. We're going to use the x-intercepts to graph this polynomial function. And we have 1, 6 times x plus 3 times x minus 2 to the square. So the first thing is we want to plot the x-intercepts. So we have an x-intercept at negative 3 using the zero product property, right? We know that x plus 3 equals 0, and then we set that equal to 0, x minus 2 set that equal to 0, therefore x equals negative 3, and x equals positive 2. So those are our x-intercepts, so at negative 3 and at positive 2. Now in this form, we can't really tell what the y-intercept is. So to find the y-intercept, remember, all we have to do is set x equal to 0. So we have 1, 6 times 0 plus 3 times 0 minus 2 squared. So this is 1, 6 times 3 times negative 2 to the squared. Or this is 1, 6 times 3 times positive 4. And so this is 12 over 6, or that is positive 2. So our y-intercept is at 2. Now, let's take a look at what we know about graphs so far. We can look at our end behavior and the degree. And so looking at end behavior, we have to know what is the degree and what is the leading coefficient. So the degree of this polynomial, if we take a look, we have um, x equals 3 and x equals 2 here. Uh, x equals negative 3 and 2. We know that this is a bounce, right? So we have two solutions here and one more here. Therefore, there are three solutions and or three zeros. So therefore, we could say that the degree is 3. It is odd. The leading coefficient is 1, 6, or it's positive. So we know that if the degree is odd, leading coefficient is positive, then it's going to go up on the right and down on the left. We also know that at 2 is it's a bounce. It does not pass through, but it does pass through the negative 3. So knowing all this information, we can complete our graph here. We know it's a bounce and it passes right through and uh, sorry, bounces there. So this is a picture of the graph. So we're not going to go ahead. We're not going to plot any points between the x-intercepts. We're just going to use what we know about x-intercepts, whether it bounces or passes through. And we're going to look at uh, what is the d degree of the polynomial by looking at how many times things repeat or not. And so that's all we need to do with this one. So go ahead and try number one and two, pause the video, and then I will show you the answers. Okay, so here are the answers to these functions if you try graphing them. Um, 
And so both of them are degree is odd. For the first one, there's a repeated root at x is equal to 4, and they're both positive leading coefficients.